guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee fly called Ted Special. Now, this fly was only known to basically a very small number of anglers over the years. I don't know how well it's known now, um, but I'm going to just, I'm just going to show you how to, how to tie it. The hook in the vise is a C6 uh, competition heavyweight hook. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is uni thread. 8 on black. So I'm just going to come in behind the other hook, run on a few more thread, remove the waist tag. We're going to bring our thread back up just sort of way within a within a head length. Now don't be shy with the head on this fly. So we're looking a decent head on it. Now the wing is bronze mallard and you're looking a just a well marked the feather. You're looking some of the the longer parts of the mallard. We'll just tear that away, and then we'll just tie it up, offer it over the other hook. Remember the pinch of loop. They're just loose turns because I want to check the the length of the tail. I right, just want it a wee bit longer, so I'm just going to come back in, bring it up in our couple of mil. Right with a pinch and loop again, a couple of turns to secure. Just, just having a wee check before I am. Um, I'm still not long enough for me, so just going to bring it up another wee bit to the right there. And this should do it now. Yep. Happy right, with that. So I'm going to tighten up with a a few turns of thread. Now I want to put some flesh into the tail. There wasn't any flesh in the original Ted special but this is just uh, two strands of blue mirror flesh so we're just going to offer these in now and then when we fold this over the flesh will be in the underside of the tail. So I'm just going to take this away in a bit of a tapered cut. Now, just sort of wait for belts and braces. Put a wee bit of super glue on the thread and we'll bring this down over the, the cut ends. Now, this fly here, um, the anglers that would have sort of way fished it back in the day was that where I would have actually fished this fly to raisin trout. And what they would have done is, you know, basically fished it on the point, threw it out, and basically stripped it back like the hammers of hell if you like so it's worthwhile having this in your box just a couple of them you know these are for me so I'm just tying up a I'll tie up about four or five of them I guess it's the fifth one actually so the rib is a ultra bar sorry in silver there you go why I was gibbering on the body the rear body is going to be a large holographic tinsel in silver so I have a length already off here so I'm just going to offer this up to the hook just pinch and loop, just loose loop in just to the length that I want the the body to end, the first part of the body anyway to there, now you don't normally see me using this much super glue on a fly but this wee pattern here takes some some chewing from the fish. So I'm just going to come around with a turn to get us started with the holographic tinsel. And then just overlapping turns up the first part of the body. A couple of turns will catch that in. Come in and trim away the excess. Now the next part of the body, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Uni floss and Chinese red, the Rion floss. Now, if you don't have this, because you have to use a, a fair amount of this floss, because I'm going to do a couple of passes of this, just use red wool. Red wool, if there's three plies in it, just take a ply out and it'll do the job. It's just that I have real confidence in using the, the Chinese red floss. I, lo I love it, it's one of my most favourite colours to use. Now, just 
going to run my fingers through the floss just to open it out a wee bit. Then we'll get our floss started. And like I say, I'm going to take a couple of passes with this. So, right up. I'm going to come back down again. It's just a lovely fluorescent red. The Chinese red floss. And then back up again. Should be enough. There. I'll follow that around with my thread. A couple of turns to secure. We'll come in and trim away the floss. Got a couple of turns started at the back. And then you're looking to rib the fly. Run about five times, four or five times. And I think on the original pattern it was oval silver tinsel was used. If I'm honest, I would actually use the, the wire. The fly will last longer. So then we're going to bring and break away the wire. Now, at this point, just come in and just fold back your bronze mallard. Come in with a couple of turns of thread. Nice and tight now with this. Now, don't worry. About what way everything's sitting at the moment. <coughs> That's grand. Now at this point, we're going to put on a couple of small jungle cock eyes. We're basically an ass knuckles yes, I should get a couple of eyes out of it. Okay. And you're putting these on basically to represent uh, gill pads, but you don't have to use them. You could use goose pads. The two jungle cock eyes lined up here. There's two small eyes. Let's get them lined up. Offer these up to the hook. The length that you want. And then I'm just going to come in and hold them. Come around with a couple of turns. Just to see what way we're, what way we're sitting. Drop down on me a bit. Bring it back up. Then I'm just going to tighten up with a further few turns now. I'm not going to fold these back. I'm just going to come in and trim these away. And then we're going to build up the head here now at this point. Now you do not be shy with the size of the head on this fly. So just build it up nice and tight up over the bronze mallard with the thread turns just putting that shape into the into the pattern as well just into the head that you want to see now the original pattern would have had painted eyes on it just white painted eyes on either side now I'm happy with that so I'm just going to come in and we'll just do one a whip finish nice and tight Pull the thread tight, come in, trim away the hand thread. Now, all that's left to do is to tie the tail down at the back. <coughs> and you could use the, the black thread, but just as a bit of a highlight, I'm just going to use the Glow Bright Floss number 5. So, just lift that up out of the way a wee bit, your wing. Just come round with your Glow Bright. Right, just take that off for a second, lift this wing up a wee bit further. Should know better. <coughs> Get it up out of the way and then just come in with my glow bright floss. I'm looking to put a bit of a tag on it as well, so just work the tag down to where I'm happy and bring the floss back up. Right, keeping the floss tight, I'm just going to come in, put in the bronze mallard firmly over the back. Then just come round with your glow bright floss, tying this down over the back. Now, what you want to do is just have a wee check. <coughs> Excuse me, see what way you're what way you're sitting. Now, I'm happy with that. Just want to keep the glow bright floss tight. Come in with my whip finishing tool and just do in a three turn whip finish. I haven't seen far in this wee fly to people. That's it done. But honestly guys, you face your locks or reservoirs. It's a great wee pattern to 
to have in your box. Now I'm just going to come in with the super glue just onto the head. We'll right, do that right the whole way right round. And once this dries, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish. Now, I'm going to just put a wee drop of super glue on the back with my needle. Excuse me, just to protect the, make it last a wee bit longer, with a little bright floss, and there you go guys, that's the, the Ted special, like I say, um, it's a wee bit unusual, I would say, um, it's basically a, a fry pattern, or just a blur, you know, um, but it's a crack and wee fly to have in your box um, and it'll work both on the reservoirs and the locks um, even tie them on to a, a size 10 or if you want to go smaller but that fly was basically invent the invention of uh, the late Ted McGee from Lisburn um, here in Northern Ireland so that's the, that's the wee fly there so there's nothing to it you can sit and knock five of those up about 20 minutes, no problem. So look guys, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. And until next time, please stay safe and take lanes.